yeah y'all that was my valentine's day like it was so good and then it just Alright you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I want to go ahead and do a three in one video for you guys. Obviously, this is not my outfit. Okay, you guys have to wait till the end to see that. But I do want to go ahead and show you guys how I did my hair, makeup, and the outfit that I picked out for Galentine's. Okay, so I'm super excited. Hope you guys love this. And I do have like a little story time in there, which is a little bit juicy. Okay, so make sure you go ahead and watch it all the way through. But before you do start, make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into it. So first things first, y'all, is hair, okay? Because right now my hair is not terrible, but I've been working out, so my roots are curly. It's just, it's a lot going underneath my clip-ins right now, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do first is use my Kendra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. This I'm still testing out to see if I like it, but I'm going to go ahead and spray my roots and then also the sides of my hair as well and underneath hair y'all because i be sweating and my hair be curling up all right so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and first straighten those parts that way it's super sleek because right now y'all i don't want to show you up close but it's looking a little bit scary okay so all i do honestly is i just take my hair i really don't straighten the bottom parts of it it's just the roots that i want to make sure it's super super straight just gonna take the straightener and straighten those parts out and if y'all see it smoking up y'all do not be concerned because <laughs> it looks a little bit crazy i feel like on camera when it smokes up it's like girl you're burning your hair i have it at 4 30 i should probably put it at 4 10 yeah let me do that at 4 10 but all i do is just do two passes on the root kind of go halfway and then I stop but for today's hair I'm thinking of doing like a half up half down situation but at the same time I love my hair when it's all the way down like when it's straight and sleek it's just so pretty to me but I may want to put it up I just don't know how I feel right now but for now this side of my roots y'all can see that it just looks so good and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the sides of my head i know my leave out y'all it'd be making like that will sound like because i shouldn't be honestly i feel like after you do your hair the first time you should touch it up once in a while but because i'm working out so often now it's just my hair is always curling up so it is what it is. I'm not going to let my hair stop me from getting my workout in, okay? So to actually straighten my hair and make it a little bit more sleek, I'm going to use my dry bar blow dry brush. I love this stuff so much because it literally looks like you got a blowout on your hair. So this I love to use more so than a straightener on the actual hair. Um, I don't spray any product additionally on my clip-ins because I don't want to weigh it down with product. I just use this and it works every single time. So what I'm gonna do is just section off my hair. That way we can work in bits and make sure that it's super sleek, okay, baby? Like, I'm trying to look so girly and so cute. Like, I'm just, I'm so ready, okay, I need this. So what we're gonna do is just start off with this amount and just turn the brush on and get to it. Do you guys see how sleek and bouncy my hair looks right now? Like, I love this brush. If you don't have you one of these, go ahead and get you one. It's a chicken salad. <laughs> for my favorite pieces y'all the top part like this right here is the money maker okay you got to make sure you get this part right okay to really give you that blowout look i hope you guys see how much sleeker 
my hair looks kind of gives like that blow dry look even the end y'all it just looks so good compared to before in the beginning y'all it was a little bit it was a little bit crazy but this right here so easy you guys and it doesn't take that long so I went ahead and lightly filled in my brows. Um, I do now use henna on my brows and it cuts down on how long it takes to do them. So I really recommend them if you haven't tried them out. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do now is apply some primer on my face. I'm going to use a Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin in the shade Universal primer and i really love this stuff if you do have oily skin the way it blends into the skin the way it controls your oils it is just so nice you guys i love it so much so i typically go ahead and apply this all over and you see how it just doesn't give you a white cast or anything like that that's why i really like it okay and then on top of that i'm gonna use my sunscreen this is the saint jane luxury skin ritual sunscreen this is a primer and a sunscreen in one and i know it's not you know any sun outside right now it's super dark outside but this is still good you guys for controlling my oils so i love mixing this with the danessa myricks primer i just apply a little bit of this and kind of just focus it more on my t-zone but during the day i do go ahead and apply this all over my face and i don't know if i mentioned to you guys but i did get some new makeup from sephora because y'all i have a problem um <laughs> so i'm super excited to try those i will mention what i got as i do my routine so while the primer sits on my face i'm going to do my eyes and i'm going to use a ColourPop party proof eye primer all over my lids just to give it a little bit of a base but i really don't need too much of this because y'all a little bit goes a long way I'm just gonna blend this right into the skin and I love this because it doesn't take that long to blend it out like you guys know some primers out there you're sitting there for like minutes trying to blend it make it look good this one just throw it on your eyes and you're pretty much good to go and then to set the lids I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter powder the pressed powder just to set everything on the lids and honestly y'all with the galentine's theme i could have really went crazy with the makeup but i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i started so late so i'm low-key like in a time crunch so i gotta do my bronzer in the crease look but it's still gonna look you know good it's just it's given basic but you already know you already know me now for the crease like i told you guys i'm gonna use my bronzer i always use the morphe phenom bronzer to put this in my crease you guys because this shade has like the perfect amount of red brown all of that in there so i just take this and sweep it back and forth like you guys see how this looks it just adds a little bit of something to the eyes okay not too much i did want to go ahead and smoke it out but i'm wearing a pink dress that's so girly and so cute so i'm gonna just keep it soft okay i want to look soft and just like airy if that makes sense so yes yeah, so we're just gonna take this in the crease and i'm actually gonna go back and use my urban decay all nighter powder and put this on the lid just to add a little bit of like um brightness to that area that way it's not all brown like it's really really simple you probably can't even tell a difference but it does add a little bit of difference when it comes to brightening the eye moving on to color corrector i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury orange color corrector and apply this underneath the eyes just to brighten everything up a little bit like so just a little tap 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 and then I'm also going to add it around my mouth as well. Let's see. So for foundation, I have a couple options, but I kind of already know the one I want to use today. Okay, it's the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation in the shade Sienna 63. This one, like if I'm going somewhere nice or fancy, I'll pull out this foundation because y'all... It costs an arm and a leg okay so we're gonna take this and apply i start with a little bit because i don't really like to wear a lot of foundation um but i take a little bit of this and just pounce it all over my face and it's such a good match when it comes to my skin tone y'all like 
it's sickening it's low-key sickening i'm gonna lie every time i put this on i'm just shook because like look at that do i even have to say anything like y'all see it and then always make sure you bring it to your ears all right but it's such a beautiful foundation i see why people love it it is worth the money i will say but that's if you can find your right shade okay if you can find your right shade then this foundation you will definitely love um and if you're thinking about like is it good for oily skin dry skin all of that i think it fits a lot of people because i'm super oily but this also looks really beautiful on people who do have dry skin it's like a very just normal foundation um but on here it does say soft fluid longwear foundation yeah with spf so it doesn't say like it's a matte foundation or a dewy foundation it's just in between but while i blend this out let's talk about valentine's day i feel like a lot of people around this time of the year get really you know in their feelings about it or you know feel some type of way i never feel any type of way y'all like i really really don't because it's just like it's a day and somebody made this up like it's not even a real thing let's be honest so show yourself love okay if you don't have a man or a girl it doesn't matter all right show yourself some love but i will tell you guys <laughs> y'all want to know a funny story okay I'm, I'm gonna be real like open and raw with y'all because it's kind of hard for me just to open up sometimes but um it wasn't last year but the year before I was talking to this person and like I really liked them and everything like that um they were just really different from a lot of people that I meet you know out here so bada bing bada boom um I don't know he seemed perfect so it was kind of funny because like we were still talking around Valentine's Day like typically you know how men are like I hear stories out there that around Valentine's Day something always has to happen that way they can ghost you and then pop up once they're done but he didn't do that like he was a really really good guy and um so i thought but <laughs> so we were talking and for Valentine's day he's like i have a whole thing planned for you like a whole situation i was so excited so i got dressed up really really cute and y'all we went to this place that was really nice it had like good food like i've never been there um it just it was a vibe and it had like he had like a rose for me ready he had like some chocolates like it was real fancy and real nice i was like shook i'm not gonna lie but before i continue i'm going to contour slash bronze my face using the hourglass um, foundation stick in the shade espresso okay so i think i stopped that telling you guys that we were at dinner it was a vibe it was cute all of that and so he was like well let's go back to my place at this point y'all like we have hung out like so many times so i was like okay cool uh he's like i have something else planned for you but on the way there right we um went through his clubhouse because he lives in the city and um there were some people playing some games and he was like all right let's just go ahead and hang out with them like it seemed like really cool it was a bunch of people um out there so we were playing some games with them it was a whole vibe and halfway through i think he like we needed to get something i can't remember what it was like we needed to go back to his place to grab something so i go with him and when i go in there my jaw dropped when i tell you guys he had roses lined up from the moment you walk in in the bedroom and the living room like it was a vibe and he literally um had like a bouquet of like flowers or bouquet of flowers however you say it um for me like my jaw was on the floor i was like okay all right like what i've never had that never had that mind you we're not even dating we we're just i mean we're dating in terms of like talking but we weren't like in a relationship so i was like so impressed i was like wow this is really nice you know blah 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 so um after that like the people that we had met at his clubhouse they were like hey like we're gonna go back to our place because they all live in the same complex and they were like we're gonna play some additional games like have like a mini party and we were just like in the mood for whatever that night like it wasn't planned we're just like all right let's just go so we're going out there we're hanging out with them in their place and i won't get in much detail but like 
the way the guy I was with was acting like some topics were brought up that are very controversial and typically I just shut my mouth at that point because like I don't know these people and what but he was super vocal and yeah it was just really uncomfortable for me because I'm very like low-key I don't like drama like it's just not me i don't they weren't even fighting it was just more so like it was very controversial topics that i felt like we just need to shut up and not say anything okay especially because these are not people we knew i'm just you know you know what I'm talking about so yeah something about that just off put me and so like after that we went to his place and i let him know i was like listen like that made me super uncomfortable like certain things that were being said i'm like I didn't expect that from you and you know Loki he like apologized whatever but I was just so off put but it was so late at that point I wanted to go back to my place but I couldn't because it was already super late and I was tired and we had been drinking um and I made it a thing to never sleep at his place because like I don't know y'all I move real slow and I was gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour stick in the shade i think it's medium deep yeah medium deep just a little bit of this on the cheeks um so yeah i checked them on it and we kind of just moved past it because at that point like he could tell like i was so serious like i hate being uncomfortable it is the worst feeling especially like when that person is like your person it's like <laughs> like what the heck but anyways so i was like okay let's just go to bed and so like we're trying to go to bed i can tell he was trying to do something with me if that makes sense and i wasn't about it like i get he put the roses everywhere led it up to the bed all that cool stuff i appreciate everything he did for me but baby we're not doing anything like we are not doing anything for concealer i'm gonna use my path mcgrath concealer of course in the shade md 22 and apply this underneath my eyes and all that good stuff but yeah the moment i did that y'all like <laughs> you could feel a sense of like change in his energy i was like ooh, all right let me just fake sleep real quick so i closed my eyes i went to bed and woke up the next day and even the next day like he was a little bit better he wasn't like upset thank god well yet but i had woke up early because i had to go ahead and look at houses to buy um before i bought my home which is so crazy to say but yeah we were sitting there and he's really trying again to like do stuff with me and i'm just like i don't think he understands like nothing is happening right so yeah long story short he um switched on me y'all crazy he was like well let me just walk you to your car and i'm like okay then i went to go grab the flowers right the flowers he bought me tell me why he said those aren't for you and i'm like what do you mean like you, he had bought it for me he's like no i gave you one rose those sitting on there were not for you i'm like oh okay all right this is this is how we're gonna start this morning i was like okay cool and then he walks me to the car and he was like well it was very nice meeting you and i'm like that's something you say to somebody you met you know the first time this is like we are i think it's like three months in at this point and i was like excuse me he's like yeah like we're done and i'm like because of what what did i do <laughs> what did i do let me know but yeah i felt the energy i was like you know what all right cool but like i really liked him and i know how like sometimes like my ego gets in the way but like i really like this kid so like i drove away but then i called him back i was like what did i do he was like I feel like I do everything for you and it's just like you reject me and I you know obviously by not doing stuff with him and I'm like I'm not rejecting you I'm just respecting myself like when I'm ready for something like that we can talk about it but like I'm still getting to know you right and you see why I think for me personally I think it's so important sometimes to wait because you can see someone's true character right if they're really serious about you y'all they'll wait but with him the switch and energy let me know like he never had good intentions for me and i'm gonna leave the um concealer in the inner corner of my eyes for a little bit longer that way 
and can dry down and give me more coverage but i'm going to set my face in the meantime using my makeup forever powder in the shade y505 um but like i told you guys that's why i feel like it's important to wait because people who have true intentions y'all i'm serious like the person for you if you like to you know go ahead and um kind of accelerate the relationship faster there's nothing wrong with that but for me like I'm so serious about finding like somebody I really love, get married, all of that. Like I'm so serious. So I don't do like I don't honey, I'm a turtle, okay? I'm not a rabbit. So basically, um yeah. And he was like, you know, I just feel like I'm working so hard for you and it's not getting anywhere. And I'm like, I wouldn't hang out with you if I didn't like you. I'm very much that type of person like for me to leave my house to hang out with somebody like that's big like that's huge for me and i don't think he realized how much i truly liked him so after that i had to cut him off like i was like nope i'm done and funny enough he hit me up like i think two weeks after the fact and was like listen like i'm really apologize and he was like i really was just very you know such with the age and he was like yeah i really do apologize for all of that can i take you out to eat and i was like well i appreciate you know your apology i'll let you know if i want to go out but i never hit him back up because i just did not want him anymore like i'm the type of person like once i'm turned off like i'm done like it's so hard and i need to stop being like that but in this situation i feel like it's granted because he was trying to forced me into something i didn't want to do right and the way he cut me off just let me know like the type of person he is um in general so yeah y'all that was my valentine's day like it was so good and then it just and of course to set my under eyes i'm going to use my Huda beauty easy bake powder in the shade kanafa just to set everything i was gonna bake y'all but looking at the time i need to hurry up now you guys i went ahead and bought the fenty beauty pro filter retouch setting powder in the shade banana because this powder i don't love if my under eyes i think it's too heavy for that but for baking the side of your nose it is amazing okay so yes i bought a whole powder just to bake the side of my nose i haven't tried the shade banana this is my first time using the shade so i think it's gonna be really good i have their other shade um in the shade honey that one is just a little bit too deep it doesn't really highlight my face like that so i'm just going to use this one right here and taking my powder which i'm going to take a little bit of this because y'all a little bit goes a long way and we're just going to bake the side right here And while this is baking, I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the shade, I believe it's tan number three, if I'm correct. Right now, it's all kind of scratched up, so I can't <laughs> even see it. And finishing up the story time, y'all, it doesn't matter if you don't have a Valentine. Like, I'm going out with the girls tonight. I'm so excited just to be cute. We're going to go um, have dinner at this really nice place. And then after, we're going to go to, like, a rooftop bar. It's just the vibe. I'm like, this is what we need, okay? So our men come, like just treat yourself okay but also i feel like the older you get like you don't care as much as you used to compared to when you were younger i feel like when i was younger i was like oh my god i'm gonna be lonely on you know valentine's day but the older i get y'all child it don't matter that much anymore and i'm gonna brush off this powder because you don't need to leave it on too long let me see if i love this shade okay yeah 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 <laughs> and to lightly contour the nose i'm gonna use my hula toasted bronzer from benefit and of course we gotta set the face with the charlotte tilbury airbrush setting spray now for blush, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out um, Cream Blush in the shade Summertime Wine, 
we're gonna take this all over the cheeks it's a very pretty pinky just beautiful color so i'm gonna dab this all over my face and it kind of looks purplish <laughs> on my face so i may have to go in with a different powder blush when it comes to setting the cream blush i just don't really like how it looks right now it's not terrible but i don't know it just looks a little purple so what i'm gonna do to set the blush i'm gonna use mac raisin okay i feel like this should kind of make everything look a little bit better yeah i feel like it brings more of like that pinky tone that i'm looking for you guys already know when it comes to highlighting my face i'm gonna use my refi topaz highlighter this one is just so pretty y'all like so freaking pretty and for those who have tried it y'all let me know you love it just as much as i do so that says a lot but i'm gonna take my sponge and just use a little bit of this on the high points of my cheeks so like right here i'm just gonna dab it all over and y'all can see how pretty like look at that come on like look at how pretty that looks it's stunning so finally last but not least i'm gonna use the fenty beauty um stunna lip paint in the shade uncuffed on my lips i feel like it's just gonna be so pretty with a soft pink okay that's a vibe tonight but to line my lips i'm gonna use my beauty by chi chi allure lip liner all over So taken uncuffed, I'm gonna put that all over my lips and kind of like mash it together. And it's so pretty, y'all. And then actually because I want my lips to be a little bit more pink, I feel like right now it's looking like a light purple. I'm gonna use the mented lipstick in the shade Nude La La right on top. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I'm gonna put that right on top. All right, so this is what the makeup looks like. Let's go ahead and move on to the outfit. Then we're out the door, you guys, okay? I'm running a little bit late. So we did the hair, we did the makeup. Let's get into the outfit. entire outfit i hope you guys enjoyed this video okay it was just so cute i love videos like this so let me know your thoughts down below but let me get to going y'all because a girl is late okay all right but make sure you like and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all 